Welcome to Kindle Love Stories. This week we're talking about bad boy rock star romance. And you will not believe who we're going to talk to today. We are talking to the ultimate bad boy with a heart of gold, Brett Michaels. Could you fall for me? Laura, <laughs> my love, how are you doing? Oh, Brett. How are you? Do you want to come in the office? We can set and talk love. How would that be? So, Brett, yes. we at Kindle Love Stories are all about romance. And one of the things that everybody who loves romance loves is a bad boy. In fact, there's a right. whole subgenre about bad boy rock stars. I love it. <laughs> I may know a little bit about it, but go a on. Bit. No, go on, go on, please. I'm intrigued. Well, let me tell you more. <laughs> okay. You. You embody everything that everybody ever thinks about as the ultimate bad boy. You're right I love here, that. right in I love front it. of me. That's here I am. Here you are. Right. So I have this opportunity to ask you: Are you really a bad boy? Let me say this: I would like to think of myself as a badass good guy. On the Rock of Love stuff, it was the ultimate lovable bad boy, right? Right. And it can go that way, or I can just be this really edgy kind of tough badass good guy either way works for me well you are the bad boy with the heart of gold thank you you are the bad i will boy with take the heart that of gold. sash and crown and i'm wearing it <laughs> well, it's because that's who you are at least that's who you you project yourself as being right i, mean, I was going to say okay if you were going to tell me yeah i'm a bad boy i was going to say yeah but the jig is up right. i know because i've seen you you're out there you're doing good works you're thank caring you. about people you put your heart out there and you make people feel special you know? Well, I love you for saying that. And you think of the, the rock star lifestyle that, that I do lead. I don't want to say did lead or will lead. I, I've lived it. And, and I say this. I have lived behind a dry cleaner, uh, you know, for three years of my life on a sleeping bag on the floor. I have been in more fist fights than I care to mention. Uh, and most of them I end up with my friends. You know, the next day we're still having a drink like an old John Wayne Western. You know, me and Bobby are knocking each other out on stage in Atlanta. The next day we're having a drink on stage in Tennessee and, and laughing about it. And, and I think that, that living your life the way you want to live it on the edge is, is, is not just an outlaw. It's on the outside of what is considered the norm. And I think that what it creates is excitement. I think it creates, and, and usually people that are bad boys, also have this creative side, but nine times out of 10, not all of them, but nine out of 10, eight out of 10, all right? Not nine out of okay. 10, eight out of 10. I'll take that. Normally have a really good heart that somewhere along the line got punched a bunch of times because you wear your heart in your sleeve. And when it gets beat up, you learn to sort of get this attitude. You become this, again, this ultimate bad boy. As a woman, you don't want a guy that's bad to you. You want a guy that loves you and is great to you but is this ultimate badass. Come visit us at KindleLoveStories.com or at our Kindle Love Stories page on Facebook.